Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm back. We're going to be talking today about why men commit and why they don't. So I will wait for a few of y'all to gather in and then we can start the discussion. But until then, y'all know I'm going to do my shameless plug. If y'all need some level up cosmetics brushes, set of 15, um, go to my Poshmark. Um, it's linked below. And then I also have the eyeshadows, lipsticks, etc. You can check it out. Okay. So now that we have a few people in here, hi, how are you? So let's talk about how or why men commit and why they don't. Because I get so many women asking me how to make them commit, how to make them commit. They will either commit based on, you know, a few things, okay? And if you don't have those few things, they're not going to commit to you. So that's why you need to have them before you get into any type of dating or any type of relationship. You got to have these things first. So you don't have to ask this question or you don't have to sit around too long and wait on a commitment. So the things you must have or the things that men look for when they commit to a woman is, do they make their lives better? Thank you, Quinn, sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, do they make their lives better or worse? If you make their lives worse, they're not gonna wanna commit to you, okay? If they don't see any value in having you around, and I'm not talking about you paying any bills. But if they don't see value in you hanging around, they're not going to commit to you, which means if you're if their friends don't see value in you, if they're, uh, you know, if they don't see value in you and if you don't make them feel better than they felt before they met you, they're not going to commit. OK, because when a man chooses a woman, he wants her to make him look good. He wants, I mean, she, he wants her to make him look good. And he wants her to represent him. So you are a representative of that man. If you are not a representative of that man and he does not like what you represent, how you represent yourself, you cannot represent represent him. So he will not choose you long term. Thank you, Miss uh, Fervor. Sprinkle, sprinkle, fur. So this is why I tell women to stop cursing, stop being, you know, loud and unfeminine and da 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 because if a man chooses a woman to represent him, she has to be the feminine aspect of him, not the masculine, okay? Another reason that men won't commit to you is because um, they're not trying to represent you. Okay, it's the opposite now. They don't want to represent what you stand for, what you do, what you think is okay, and what you feel is, you know, right or whatever. They may not agree with anything that you do or say or how you dress, talk, walk. They just may want to have a little fun with you for a while. But if they're not on board with you and, um, you know, how you represent yourself and what your lifestyle says about you, they're not going to bother with you either, unless they can change you. Some men, especially older men, they will try to change you into something more, you know, committable, someone that they can commit to. But if they don't see that, they're able to get you to, you know, go in that direction. They'll just go find someone else. So you can't uh, be upset at people that don't want to commit to you, especially if you're not lining up with their life goals or life plans. Okay. Now, this goes for men with money, not broke men. Broke men will commit to anything for room, shelter, and a roommate and bills paid, okay? So we're not talking about them. Those type of men will not commit to you because they want to remain free and keep their options open for a better, you know, selection. And a lot of men know that you'll stay and wait for them or keep trying and still they'll get the benefit of being in a committed relationship without actually being committed because they know many women are desperate. So they're not going to commit to a desperate woman. First off, a dusty won't even commit to a desperate woman. 
Okay, he'll he'll lie, but he won't truly commit. So, right. They'll they'll do exactly what they need to do until it's time for them to be moving on. So, Dusty's commit only when in need. All right. Another reason that men won't commit is because they're from different cultures and they can't bring you home. Okay. They may fund you. They may have fun with you. They may, you know, travel with you, et cetera, et cetera. But they're not bringing you home if you're not in the same culture, religion, or whatever. You're just not going to be their wife. You might be their girlfriend in another country. You might be this or that, but you're never going to be, you know, introduced as wife, whatever, whatever. So, uh-huh. Um, another reason is uh, they're not ever going to commit again to anybody because they're done with commitment. They've been married, divorced many times, or one time might might have been enough, and they just are done. So they may have a girlfriend, but they might never marry you. You know, so when I say commitment, I do mean long term commitment as well as marriage. So they won't marry you if they just made it up in their mind that they're never getting married again and there's nothing you can do about it, you know. And waiting around is not going to help you, it's only going to, you know, waste your time if that's what you want from them. Okay, so let's switch over to the reasons why. They uh, will commit. Did, did I, yeah, why they will commit? How to how to get them to commit by being the very thing that they do not have. Okay, by being the very thing that they are not. By being the very type of woman that they have always been looking for. By representing them with respect, and by representing him with. Um, you know, something presentable that he is proud of in public. That's when a man will commit the fastest. So you have to look the part, act the part, speak the part, and you have to respect him on a certain level. And he will feel that this is the type of woman that I want to marry and could get to because she's all those things. And that's what I want to represent me. You know, so Mm hmm. So those type of women get quick, quickly committed to or they seem like oh, she's so great. That's the type of wife I always wanted. I finally found one. And when when they figure it out and they they marry you or they commit to you and they, they're just you know, like, oh, I got a good one. I got a good one. You know, you're you're also their type. You're also their type. So. A man will quickly commit to his type. A man will quickly commit to someone who represents him well in the public eye. A man will quickly um, commit to a woman who has many options. Well, he knows that she has options because of how you know great she is. That means if he doesn't snatch her up quick, someone else will. Okay, so you have to be on that caliber to get committed to fast. Right. Um, Grew up in Medina and Saudi, so you should, what? Oh, y'all must be talking to each other. Um, thank you, uh, Kalia. How about married man? How do you get them to commit? Well, they're already committed to a wife, so, you know, they really can't really commit to someone else at the same time. They can only commit to, you know, doing what they said that they're going to do. But, I mean, if, I always say, if that man doesn't see value in you or more value in you than he does his wife at the moment, then he's probably not going to be going anywhere. So that's why you have to make yourself on that level of more value or, you know, willing to give up or sacrifice whatever it costs to divorce. If that's not you, then they're probably not going to do that um, on their own, you know, unless their wife does it for them, you know. Um, right. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. 
men with children, that's up to you. You choose. You know, if you want to deal with men with children, that's fine. Unless the children are grown or and you don't have to deal with them, then great. But that's up to you as a that's your choice. Okay. What do you mean stay away from married men? They are oh, y'all talking to each other. <laughs> okay. Now, if y'all are new to this channel, it doesn't matter if the man is married or not. Most of the time, the married man come on to the woman. So it's not the woman chasing the married man. You have to understand if it's not her, it'll be somebody else anyway. She might as well get the money, teach him a valuable lesson, and move on. Okay, we don't we don't say, oh no, you can't do that because he's married. Look, he done came up to you. Do what you gotta do. Get your money. Okay. You trying to give it away. To somebody, you might as well take it. He's going to give it to the next chick that walks in if you don't get it. Okay, So I don't really care if they're married. If they coming on to women, they ain't acting married. So guess what? They're going to get treated like they ain't married either. And their wallet's going to get treated like they ain't married. And then they can go home and be, you know, go to their wife and do whatever they need to do. But if they coming out looking for women, they're going to they get you know, got by the smart ones anyway. So, um, mm -hmm. yes, I really don't go against that because I feel that if the man is coming on to you, then he's not acting married. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. No, James is a cheat. He's always home. That's why I get him all baby. Okay. So, um, thank you. How do you go about getting your payment from a man when a man cheats your payment? Do you give him an ultimatum? Yeah, you give him. A, I don't give him an ultimatum. I give him a chance to redeem himself with something like, what kind of car you want? You know, if a man wants to redeem himself and he will do anything to get forgiveness from you, take him to the car dealership, baby. Make him pay with money. <laughs> okay. So. What if he wanted to commit then decide not you? Uh, then he found a better option. Okay. Men are always looking to find better options. Okay. So that's just how it is. Right. So, you know, if, if the man is like, you know, if the man wants to commit to someone, he will. You know, if you give him an ultimatum. Because, you know, you feel like you spent enough time with this man for him to know whether or not he wants to be there or not permanently, then you could go ahead and give him the ultimatum. And if he agrees, great. If he doesn't, you're not wasting any more time, at least. You know, I think too many women fear being rejected when that's saving you time and energy. Because, you know, as a woman, you don't have the same amount of time as a man to, you know, do what you got to do. So the less time you waste, the better. Better to know rather than, you know, hang on for years and years and years and never get that commitment or that ring because you hope. If you don't know by the time you know, a couple of years go by, then he's probably not going to ever, you know, commit or get married with you. All right. Mm-hmm. You can bring the horse to the water, but you can't make him drink. That's true. And a man will stick around as long as you allow him to. So you don't really have to worry about, well, why won't he leave me alone? And why does he keep calling back? Because you're free. That's why. You know, if you knew where something free was and you could go and grab it without spending any money or putting any effort in, you go get it when it was very convenient for you. You know, so it's, it's not that he can't leave you alone. It's that because you're free. Okay. If I bet you if you weren't free, he'd leave you alone. But I bet if you cost money, I bet if you made him spend to, in order to see you, he wouldn't be trying to call you. Okay. Just think about it like that. Um, so, okay. So some other ways why they will choose to commit to you. If you seem like you make a good mother, if they want to have kids, you know, if they want to have children and they think that you raise a good, you know, 
children, good children, if you are a good representative of what they see a mother as, especially if they're younger and they want to have babies with you, they're also going to make sure that you have good habits as well to pass on to your children. Okay. You're going to make sure you have good habits. Now, this is the people that are thinking, not the people that are accidentally getting you pregnant or the people that's using you, but I'm talking about the people that are dating and uh, seriously, you know, considering a future with you. They're going to make sure you make a good role model. Okay. They're going to make sure you fit well into their, you know, friends and family. And if not, you know, they may not be close to their friends or family, but if they do uh, introduce you to them and things like that, then they're trying to make sure that you're a good match and that the family and the friends like you. Da, da, da. Sometimes it don't even matter, but most of the time men will try to see if you're a good fit. So if you fit good, you don't argue um, a lot. You don't cause them too much stress. You're not nagging all the time. You know, most of the time a man can see a peaceful life with you. And that's very important. Men like peace, not a bunch of, you know, unless their life is super boring and they enjoy drama, which most men don't, especially if they're out there trying to get, get this money or whatever. Um, if their life will seem peaceful with you, then they are probably going to commit. If it's ups and downs and ups and downs and drama all the time and they they don't find too much, you know, happiness in that, they're going to like, mm, you're fun, but you're just not the one to settle down with. Okay. So you got to be a bit, you got to be a mix of both. You got to keep it interesting, but you can't just you know, be all crazy all the time. You got to keep it interesting, but also you have to keep it peaceful. Okay. Um, hold on. Hello? Stupid robot calls. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm just going to turn down the volume because it is a little bit loud. Um, they always call this time of day. Like, I want to talk to them. I don't know who they are. They're trying to sell something, scam something. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ways to wisely spend money. Build wealth. Invest. Invest in something. Okay. Um, next time they call, I'm going to cuss them out. I promise. And I don't even curse. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. I think about it and it keeps... What? I, oh, I was answering a question about spending money wisely. Save it or invest it, okay? Unless you're going to spend it on something that's beneficial to you in the long run, you know, um, I really wouldn't spend it if I don't know what to spend it on yet. Just keep it until you figure it out, you know, because one day you might need that money or find a good way to invest it or something. But keep it until you figure it out. That's the only thing I can tell you because I can't tell you what to do with your own money. I will give it to me. All right. See, so you got to figure that out. Um, <laughs> there you go. Anyway, thank you so much. <laughs> what to do if he cancels a date and wants to reschedule? Uh, reschedule next to a nice restaurant at a mall, near the mall, near a shopping center, so that you can go get your apology before dinner or after dinner or lunch or whatever. And don't meet him for dinner. Meet him for lunch. He, like, it was if it was supposed to be dinner, meet him for lunch next time. You know, um, that way he knows he's, he's you know, he's not going to be able to impress you as much as he could have with dinner. Like, oh, sure, we can meet for lunch at such and such next to this shopping center. That way, you know it's going to be open after y'all finish eating or before you go. Okay. And if he breaks that date, then on to the next. Well, you need to make him pay a little bit. Come on. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So, you know, commitment is a big step for men because they are, you know, usually wanting to be free, especially if they're younger and or older and just got divorced. If you deal with a man who just got divorced, he ain't finna commit to nothing no time soon. So you might as well just, you know, be cool or go get someone who's been divorced for a while and now is missing that married life or that couple life. Um, and so you, you don't want to get with a man that has just gone out of a, you know, had just got out of a marriage. You don't want to go with that. You don't want to get with someone who had a bad divorce because they'll never get married again. Okay. So listen to the keywords when he speaks about, you know, whatever he's talking about. Bad divorce means he will never marry again. Um, so don't even bother trying to get that commitment. If he comes out with the fake words like, oh, I've been hurt before, or I'm just not ready for a relationship, that means he's not going to commit to you. It's, you're not the one. You're not enough. You're just not even his type. I'm just here for something free, whatever you are to give me. I might spend a little money on you, but I am not going to put you in my life permanently. When he says those words, that's what it means. Don't even bother going any further if you're looking for commitment. So, you know, you don't have to ask what does it mean when they say this? It means you're not the one. You're there for a second and then they're going to leave or ghost you. So you may do them the favor of doing that before they can do it to you after you get some money out of them. Okay. Um, men will most likely commit to someone feminine, especially if the man has money. I'm not talking about broke man. I'm never talking about broke man unless I say I'm talking about broke man. So please don't assume that I'm talking about men that don't have it together All right so a man will um commit to someone more feminine in nature someone that makes them look more masculine someone that stands next to them and compliments them and makes them look like they're accomplished and etc cetera, etc cetera. you know someone that will impress you know their friends colleagues family da da da, da as far as you know who they chose you know, oh, she's a she's a beauty. She's a keeper. You know how they always say, oh, she's a keeper. She's a keeper. That's what they need to be saying in order for a man to want to commit to you. If you go out a lot and waiters, hosts, um, you know, people that work places always confuse you for being a married couple. That's something else that men will take note of. They'll be like, oh, she's, she's wife material. Everyone thinks we're married. OK, so that's making them consider you a little bit more as well. That's why I say, if you want to be a wife, you need to play the wife role, not the wife role, but you need to be able to look like a wife and be mistaken for a wife. If you want to be a wife, not um, a side chick, not someone he found, you know, cruising online, but someone who he would actually wife. Okay. Um, <sighs> all right, all right, right. How about if they are divorced and been separated for a year and want to date and try to find he ain't over her, it's been a year, especially if they got kids. It's gonna take a while. Mm -hmm. He just a, a year ain't a long time, baby. It has to be years. Okay, after this year, a uh, a year doesn't is not that long. He hasn't even filed taxes separately yet. Come on. <laughs> you, you need a couple more years, baby. He's just having fun right now. No kids. Who knows? I mean, if there's no kids, it's possible. Yes. That he would be over her fast. So if there's no kids, you might have a chance. But if there are kids, it's probably going to take a little bit longer. Because then they'll have to visit each other, you know, for the kids' sake. But if there's no kids, they have no excuse to like really see each other. You see, so that's better, definitely. Uh, how to become a wife? Um, decide if you want to be married. If is married life for you? You know, if you like, um, I don't know, because some people have to ask themselves, why do you want to be married? Are you ready for marriage? Do you even know what marriage is? You know. A lot of times, 
the women are not happy in relationships or marriages because they don't know what marriage is. They don't know what it's for. They don't know why it was invented. And they are only taking Hallmark uh, movie channels interpretation of what marriage is. Okay, so if you don't know what marriage is for, then I suggest you really think about it and understand why marriage was even invented. It was invented to procure land. It was invented to take uh, one person's family and another person's family to create more money or wealth or you know, stability. It's for you to secure a woman out of the hands of her father or whoever was taking care of her and to another hand who is responsible for her. Okay, so if you're getting married to fall in love, you don't have to get married to fall in love. You can fall in love with anything, walking on the street with no ring or anything. So if you get married to fall in love or to be, you know, swept off your feet like in the Disney movies, then you're not marrying for the correct reason. The correct reason is the reason why marriage was invented. It's a business deal. That's it. If you're looking for love, you can find that everywhere. That's easy. Just go tell somebody, oh, I love you. And also, you know, love means different things to different people. So you have to figure out, is your definition of marriage the same as his definition of marriage? And if it's not, then whatever his definition of marriage is, you should be playing an active role in that definition of marriage. And whatever your definition of marriage is, he needs to be playing that active role. So you may have two different understandings of what marriage is, but you can still be happy because you know what each other wants and expects. Thank you, Rose Gold. Sugar Daddy now fiance gave the go-ahead to resign. To resign. Okay. Did that Friday. Now my job is counter-offering me to keep me money. How can I use this to get more from fiance? Tell him. Get that allowance, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You know what I would do? I would, you know, I'd take the money. i say, well, I would, I would ask the job. It's like, well, if there's any way I can work from home or part-time, I would, you know, but not, I'm not staying for that amount of money. Um, if the fiance is not giving you the same amount as you were earning or, you know, whatever, I, you have to consider that. If you don't have access to his money, I consider that too. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You, you need to get that or double what you was getting or at least the same at your job when you uh, quit from your fiance. There you go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yes. <sighs> so, yeah, marriage is not the same for everybody. You have to make your own rules. If you make your own rules, you're more likely to be successful in a marriage. You know, if you are just following what you see on TV, that's not going to be, that's not going to work out for you. You know, um, <laughs> so... So when you when you figure that out, then it's easy to get a commitment to because you're not expecting something that you saw on TV when the man is ex not expecting what he saw on an adult film. You know what I'm saying? So y'all gotta y'all gotta figure out what it is that y'all expect out of a commitment and a marriage before you even go into it. That's after he didn't already ask you to marry him. Get the get the ring first, of course, and then say, Oh well, you know. This is how it'll be, maybe. Don't put nothing in stone and just let it evolve as you, as a couple evolve. Because you're not supposed to have something set when you don't even understand, you know, what it's going to be like to be together or be married. So you make the rules up as you go. And you have to compromise as you go. And that also has to be present in the current relationship that you're in, you know, um, because that's going to determine whether or not, you know, you're reasonable. 
Thank you, Rose Gold. You get way more than I make already as an allowance. Then quit, girl. What you doing? Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'd have been quit. What you talking about? I'd have quit like a week after I met him. <laughs> um, yeah, I quit. Thank you. All right. He should have taken your number. Let oh, y'all talking to each other. You're so glad you think this way. So refreshing. Some women are lost in fairy tales. Yeah. And, you know, um, another thing, you know, I always tell women this. If you're if you're trying to find happiness within a man or if you think your husband is supposed to make you happy. That's not true. Y'all are supposed to be happy already together. You know what I mean? Just like if you have a brother or sister, you don't depend on your brother to make you happy. You're just happy together. You happy because y'all have stuff in common or you like the same type of stuff or, you know, you aren't alone, whatever. Thank you, uh, goddess, auntie, sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, thank you. You love my dark hair, my red lip, been using your palette on channel. And I love my little keychain. I messaged you on Poshmark, but where do I join the level of group? Go to the link at the bottom of my um, description bar. Um, there's detailer and then my fan group. On Facebook, you need to contact D Taylor and ask her how to get in the group. It's a paid group, so it's like a one-time fee. So go and go to her on Facebook and message her. Thank you, sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, twenty twenty. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. So right. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh, okay. Okay. Well. What was I saying? Okay. Yeah. So, you know, you don't depend on your little brother or your brother the same age or your older brother to make you happy. You don't depend on your parents to make you happy. You don't depend on your friend, your boss, none of those people to make you happy. So why do you depend on a man after you've married him to make you happy? It makes zero sense. It's because you've been brainwashed by the movies to make you know, for that to be like um, what you think. Thank you, goddess, auntie, sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate that. So, um, thank you. So, yeah, don't uh, don't have the same expectations for another human being that you won't even have to your, for your closest family members. You know. That's something that they don't tell you. And <laughs> thank you. I mean, your children aren't even supposed to make you happy. You see, you're supposed to already have that within. And if you don't have it within, you'll always be looking for someone to make you happy. And thank you, happy love, sprinkle, sprinkle, happy love. <laughs> right on time, huh? So. You'll always be miserable, but if you're already happy within and the people that are around you, if you teach them, especially your children, if you teach your children to be happy within and um, your husband is happy within and, you know, everybody around you is happy within, then everyone gets what they want. Everyone gets to do what they want. Everyone is happy to get, be committed with each other because there's nothing there that is, you know, lacking. So, right. So it's all about how you feel about you, how he feels about how you feel about yourself, how he feels about himself and how he feels about himself being with you. So that's basically it. Mm hmm. Five years is long enough for him to be divorced and be remarried. Yes, for sure. Hey, Mama D. <laughs> mm hmm. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you for, thank you, Shira, for helping you get another provider man and leave a broke Dusty. Oh, to get a provider man and leave a broke Dusty. I started listening to you. Good for you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, how to make him afraid to lose you. Be out of his league. That he, if he does lose you, he can never get you back. Level up. You know, think about it. 
A man wouldn't be afraid to lose you if he knew he couldn't get you back or get someone better. Just saying. Scarlett Johnson, sprinkle, sprinkle, love your videos. I just joined your pre-level up group. Thanks for the knowledge. Oh, hey, girl. Thank you, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you for joining and thank you for the donation. Appreciate that. Um, mm -hmm, thank you. All right. And, you know, in order, and also let me tell you, ladies, in order to really be, uh, in order for a man to want to really commit to you, you have to be done with entertaining other options. You know, he has to know that you're not still wondering, you know, about this type of man or this type of man. You know, for example, now this is for, you know, I know there's different cultures, but this is for, you know, the culture that I'm from, I guess, American culture and other, you know, westernized cultures. Um, I'm speaking, if you've already been out, had boyfriends, had relationships, um, you know, been experiencing, you know, going out, go to the clubs and bars or whatever, and there's something that you've already done and are not trying to keep doing, then he knows that you make a good wife because you're still, you're not trying to be out there still you know, trying to look for something else unless he takes you out or unless you want to go out every once in a while. But I'm talking about the people that want to be out all the time that have not yet experienced that part. That's why I say when you're young, go have fun, go have fun, fun, fun. So that when you get to the age where someone wants to take you seriously and commit to you, you're not still looking at stuff that you've missed. Okay. Mm hmm. If you're in college, I say go have fun. I, you know, you're you could do both. You don't have to commit to one person. You know, how, what's he gonna know? You're young. <laughs> how long to be in a committed relationship before you give him an ultimatum? If he's old, well, if he's old, he should know. He should know soon. You know, um, if you're depending on how young you are, I say if you're not at least twenty five. I wouldn't get married before the age of 25 because you don't really know what you want. So at least wait till you're, I don't know how old you are, but if you're over 25 and it's been a couple of years and he old, then, you know, he should know by now. So yeah, you can give it to him. <laughs> give him that ultimatum, but make sure you give it to him in the correct way because an ultimatum can sound like a threat or it can sound like he's going to lose the best thing ever. Okay. An ultimatum is not something like a threat. It's, oh, you know, I really have fun with you and I really like being with you. And I'm not sure if you see me being with you know us together for the rest of your life, but I'm ready to start the next chapter in mine. And so I'm just wondering, you know, where do you see this going? Da, 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 da. I'm ready for a change. Now, if you don't want, you know, to take it to the next level, then I totally understand and I will always, you know, respect you and love you in my heart, but I will have to move on for the sake of, you know, things that I desire in my life. That's how you do it. Basically, you're telling if you don't give me no ring and marry me, I'm out. I'm on to the next one, baby. What you going to do about it? You want this to stay here or you want it to go away? That's all you're telling him in a nice way. So that's how you got to do it. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. Yep. Is a financial planner a feminine career or attractive to rich men? I really wouldn't tell them what I do because I plan on quitting my job anyway after we get together. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. You know, I told I told James I was a mortician and. But I was, you know, thinking about quitting, which was much easier to get the bag because you know, nobody wants to be living up all over somebody that touches dead bodies all day. Thank you, Marche. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. It's like, ooh. <laughs> Right, right. Anyway, 
So if you want that commitment, you better act like you represent him. Your wife material, you better look like wife material. You better represent yourself like you represent him. And it'll be easy. Okay, very easy. Because he'll think he found the one. You also have to be more concerned about him than, you know, you got to also ask questions like, oh, are you okay today? How, you know, um, be a little bit concerned as to show that you care, but not like a mother, but like, oh, did you, did you do your, um, did you take your vitamins today? I took mine. I don't know. It's just, um. You know, just something simple. Oh, did you remember to get um, this, this, and that? Oh, I heard, you know, or, you know, if they were sick, me like, oh, are you okay now? Did you, did you rest and get some sleep and recover? You know, just asking little small questions about, you know, their well-being. Not as if, not don't push them and make them do anything. Just ask. The less you push the more that they'll do it. Like uh, if you just mention it, you know, they'll, they're will they more likely to listen than if you try to push it down their throat because then they want to defy you because they're the masculine and you're the feminine. So. Mm -hmm. And and here's another thing you can't you can't really worry about what other people think as well. Like if you want to be with this person and you want them to, you know, want if you want them to commit to you, when other people come around, when questions come up, you can't be ashamed or embarrassed or don't know how to answer because they're going to be like, she doesn't even want to be with me. She don't even know how to answer these questions. She thinks about what everyone else thinks instead of. The person that she wants to be with. So you got to stop caring what other people think about your relationship with that person, because that's going to make them not want to commit either. And then like, well, she acts different around her friends or she acts different around her family. She doesn't introduce me to her family. She doesn't know what to tell people Da da da. da. You know, so that's also going to be a red flag for a man not to want to commit to you because they're not sure if you even want to be there. Okay. Um, right. Um, girl, Mariah, do not settle down with no 34 year old man unless he has money enough to buy you the house you want, the car you want, and enough to pay for kids and and for, to support you if you stop working, baby. 34, computer programmer. It, if he ain't six plus figures, no. Do not settle down. Thank you. Too young and too broke. What makes me unique? Most women can't get past what mama, cause sis ain't TT think what? Oh, most women can't get past what mama. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what they think. They're gonna be thinking something when all these bills is paid. They're gonna be thinking, oh, I should have done what she did. Okay, that's all they're gonna be thinking. I wish that was me. I wish I would have been smarter. That's all they're gonna be thinking. That's it. So I'd rather them think that after I already do it, I'm gonna do it anyway. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> think about it. Your if your mom doesn't approve you dating an older man, or your cousin says, Oh, you think about every morning when they're getting dressed and getting ready to go to work and you still sitting there putting on your makeup, trying to look cute to go shop or whatever you need to do that day. Think about what they're going to think then and then make your decision. Do you want to join them or do you want to do what you got to do? Um, <laughs> I'm not getting ready to join them. I'm sorry. Oh. 
Right. Also, you know, of course, the level of the look, of course, the look, how you represent them, how, you know, how you act around different people, um, things like that. How picky you are, if you're super duper picky, he knows that he, you will, he will never be able to satisfy you to a degree, so he won't even try to commit to you. But, you know, if he knows he can satisfy you somewhat and, you know, y'all are on the same accord, then he'll most likely want to commit. But if you're never, ever, you know, if you always like, well, this isn't right, especially how you present it. If you don't present something in a positive way, they're less likely to commit to you. If you're a very negative woman, they're less likely to commit to you. So you got to keep things as positive as you can if you want that commitment. Mm -hmm. Um, right. So, oh, sorry. Yes. So, yeah, you're just going to have to re examine yourself and recreate yourself if you're trying to get commitment or wife instead of just dating because dating and a commitment are two different things for a man sometimes one thing does not lead to the other so you have to you have to figure out what is it that you want to be and that's what you need to go be and chances are you're not going to meet the type of man that wants to commit to you and i mean online because he's looking for fun okay Thank you. Um, right, right, right. All right. Do y'all have any questions that pertain to the topic? I'm only answering questions that pertain to the topic. Nothing else. I will skip it, even if it is paid. Thank you. Only questions that pertain to the topic. All right. Okay. Can young rich men commit? Can they lie? Of course they can commit, but will they be honest in their commitment is the question. Mm -hmm. What? Why do we have to ask men to commit? You don't have to ask a man to commit unless you're ready to leave and go move on to the next. Then you give him the ultimatum. If you give him the ultimatum, then they'll have to commit or risk losing you. You know, they will lose you if they don't commit. So you don't have to ask them to commit at all. They're supposed to be asking you to commit, you know, unless they're pressuring you for something. And then that's the only way that they're ever going to get close to getting it is to commit then you're going to have to give them that reason as well. Like, oh, I don't do those things without, you know, being in a committed relationship. So that will push them closer to wanting to commit, knowing that they can't get the goods unless they commit. And so, you know, having those standards is also what keeps men interested because he knows you're not out there with everybody and anybody because you're not going to do A, B, C, and D without a commitment which means you haven't done A, B, C, and D many, many times because that would mean you would have to get those many commitments from men. And men don't commit just off the bat, you know, especially if you make them work for it, like you're making this man work for it. So if he knows he has to work for something, he has to invest in you. If you want a commitment before you take it to the next level, then he sees you as the type of woman that he wants to commit to because you're not out there with everybody else. You make a good mother, a good role model. You have high standards. You're going to teach. If y'all have daughters, y'all you're going to teach them that. And, you know, uh, chances are you're not going to know all his friends or dated any of his friends. And you'll probably be more respected anywhere you go. And so all those things build up in his mind and it builds your character as a, um, you know, a spouse that has, you know, respect or integrity. Thank you, baby doll. Channel on freestyle. Sprinkle, sprinkle.
Um, thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What's the difference? I don't know any channels on freestyling, but y'all can answer in the comments. Do you think rich old men will commit to a single mother of two girls? I want to level up after losing the um, of course, our old rich man will commit to anybody because he's old. That means he would rather commit to someone than be alone. And, you know, older people enjoy helping others. They're more generous. Um, so your chances are higher with him. Yes. Of a commitment. All right. How do you skip the girlfriend trap just to get the ring? Well, I really... I wouldn't stay a girlfriend for longer than a few years because by then he should know, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're young. Now, if you're older, you know, and he's, he's not just getting out of a marriage, I think within a year or two that he should know. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between dating and a committed relationship? That means you're not seeing other people um, and it's leading to something like marriage. Uh, it means you're with one person and you're going to the next level. You plan to eventually go to the next level. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want you needing anything from anyone else. Mm -hmm. Okay, Greg. Oh, y'all have fun tonight. Thank you. Um, yeah, you're single till you have the ring. That's right. Well, th the point is, you know, if he believes you're in a committed relationship, then you're you're most likely to get the ring. But especially if he's, you know, older, if he can, if he feels like you're still out there doing stuff, it may take you a little longer, you know. Um, so for for this advice, I say this is for women who want to get the ring and want to be married. If you're just out there for the bag and you're going to move on quickly anyway, and you don't want the commitment from this person, then you don't have to do what it takes to get the commitment. You're just trying to get to the bag. So you have to figure out what it is you want. Uh, you can do both if you like, if, if you're very smart and you can get away with it, for sure. <laughs> but it seems like a lot of women aren't able to get away with stuff because they don't really plan it out properly. So if you're going to do... If you're going to do that, you need to plan it out properly. <laughs> what do you say to a husband who says, we got married too young, et cetera? That means he want to go out and explore the world, baby. Um, I knew a couple that got married too young. And um, man, they, they got married right out of high school. And I remember they were always cheating on each other. <laughs> But they stayed together. And then like when they got to a certain age and they got older, they vowed to not cheat on each other anymore and try to be up because they had kids and stuff. So, I mean, it just depends on what that person is trying to tell you. Do they want to go date other people? You know? Mm -hmm. Right. So I said, have your fun before you commit and get married. Right. I don't have a Patreon for this channel. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I do have a Facebook group called, uh, you know, I have uh, several Facebook groups for leveling up, but I don't have a Patreon for this channel. Um, you almost got married three times. Wow. Right. So, you know, having, um, and some women don't want a commitment. So if this is not for you, then it ain't for you. But a lot of women asked me, I want a commitment. How do I get him to commit? It's all it's all up to you, baby. Are you committable? I mean, are you is a man able to commit to you in comfort? That's what you need to ask yourself. Are you even his type? Will he introduce you to his family? You know. Stop calling me. I don't want anything you have. Stop. Take my number off your dial. They were good. They went quick. <laughs> I hate them stupid calls. Ugh. Can a man attend a strip club and be in a committed? Yes. A man can attend a strip club and be in a committed relationship. But my thing is, 
are you invited to? If you ain't invited, um, then you should be at the male strip club. I know most of those are gay, but no. Then you should be able to go wherever you want to go that night as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> um, I don't, y'all need to ask yourself those questions. Like, I can't answer stuff for you. I'm not you. I think totally different from most of you. Pick the one that gives you the most and that you like the best. I, I just can't answer stuff for you because I don't know all the details. You know, um, I always go for the one that treats you the best and gives you the most. That's all I say. How long should you wait to be in a relationship with if you want him to commit? As long as you are comfortable with it, you know. Um, and also, you have to be reasonable. Men are not going to rush into marriage at all. Okay. So they're not going to rush into marriage. You have to understand that as a woman. They have to think that you are the one. And if you get away, they may never find one like you again. Okay, Work on yourself. Work on yourself to make him feel that if he loses you, he will never be able to replace you. Okay, That's what you got to do. A man is not going to commit to a woman that he can find tomorrow scrolling online. Okay, If you are typical, basic, he's not going to commit. He's going, especially if he has money, he's going to scroll and get another one. You have to be the type of woman that he cannot find. You have to be someone that represents. Okay, so that's how you have to be. Don't worry about how to get him to commit. Imagine if he comes into your life and you are everything that would make a great spouse and then you all up and say, well, I'm ready to change, you know, directions in this relationship. If you're not, let me know so I can move on with my life. If he is afraid to lose you, he will commit. Okay? If you are a dime a dozen, he won't. He just won't. So please put the focus on you making yourself irreplaceable. So he can't say to the left, to the left. You know, <laughs> yes, how to be irreplaceable. Make yourself the type of woman that he will fear losing. OK, level up. Don't be, you know, don't rep misrepresent yourself in public. Like, you have to be the type of woman that a husband, that a man wants to make it to a wife. You know, um, thank you, Ivana Sprinkle Sprinkle. How to play a situation when the guys pretty thirsty pick me your best friend wants to be besties with you so girl i'm not being friends with nobody friend or whatever whatever just not gonna do it just always go i'm busy sprinkle sprinkle that's i'm, I'm busy i'm too busy gotta do this gotta do that gotta go see my mom I'm not even gonna entertain that um ain't got and nobody got time for that okay in fact we gonna be moving far away, so she gotta save up gas money to even come visit. How you doing? <laughs> right. Okay. Y'all, I can't tell y'all how to be irreplaceable. You have to understand if a man does not see you as irreplaceable, then he's not going to fear losing you. Make yourself irreplaceable by the best way you know how. Become the best version of yourself. Represent him like no woman probably ever has. Look the part, act the parts, act the part, speak the part, be the part, you know? If he loses you, you know he's never gonna find another woman that's gonna fit the definition of, oh, this would make a great, you know, spouse. Okay, and I'm not talking about cooking and cleaning. I'm talking about representation, how you look next to him, how people treat him different when you're around him than when he, you're not around him, how he gets more respect and um, how he feels more masculine with you rather than without you. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Sing. Sing? 
sprinkle, sprinkle, sig me. Thanks for all the advice. Thank you, Tulsi. You're 35, everyone always thinks I'm 20, but actually do look older. You actually do like older men. What age do you think I should? You're 35, 60s, baby. Go to the 60s. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Um, Mm -mm 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 -mm. Asthma. If you don't, ha if you haven't had surgeries on your face, if the scars are not on your face or on your neck, then work on everything else. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. My boyfriend told me I make him look good. I'm always leveled up when we are out. That's wonderful. He'll probably, he'll, yeah. You make them look good, they'll want to keep you around. You know? Like, I remember when, like, there's a feeling. There's this feeling when you're with someone that makes you look good, that makes you feel important, that makes you stand out. You, you make him stand out. There's a feeling that comes with that when you walk into a place and everybody's looking at you and like, oh, man, he's the man. Oh, look at his woman. He's the man. Respect, respect. You know, that's the type of woman a man marries. Not like, oh, he must be paying her or he must have found her online or he must, that must be, you know, his one night stand for the night, you know, or something like that. You need to look like everybody else envy, envies him because he found a respectable, leveled up woman that's feminine and makes him look like the man. Right. Otherwise, if you look like you just dare for a little chump change, if you look like he didn't scrolled and found you on online uh, with a booty picture, if you look like that, everyone is not even going to turn and be like, mm, I know what that situation is. I know what that's all about. You know, think about Donald Trump and his wife. Now, I, don't, I know y'all probably don't like Donald Trump, but Think about Melania. Did she look like a prostitute? No, he went and got a, a model. He went and got someone that was, you know, uh, respectable enough, uh, but not just some chick off the street. You know, he went and got someone who, you know, was going to make a decent mother look good and, and stand next to him so he could get the presidency or whatever. But he did not choose the type of woman who, you know, he was cheating on her with, obviously. You know what I'm saying? He didn't choose the mother hoe, whatever, that he was dealing with. He only, he chose her because she looked the part, you know? Right. She's from your country, Jasmina. Jasmina? Yeah. Cool. So <laughs> think about all the important men, all the important men and look at their wives. Okay. There's something about them that doesn't say you know, desperate. I found her online. She just in it for the money. There's something about them that says that they make uh, the man look better, except for a few of them. You know, except for a few of them, especially the president. But just any any man that's out there that's respectable and has money. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Christina. What do you think about joining a matchmaking service that has a lot of older wealthy men? Is this a good option for marrying the bag quicker? I mean, if you want to try that, there's nothing wrong with it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. But you're going to have to be the type that they would marry. Otherwise, waste of time. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Brooke. Do you guys commit for looks or personality? Uh, they commit for looks and how you make them look and also how peaceful you are. They don't want to come home with no drama every single day. You know what I'm saying? Personality, mm, you know, you can't be boring and put them to sleep. You also can't be too much for them to handle. So you got to be somewhere in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Thoughts on wearing outfits that show cleavage when you're out the sugar daddy when you have breast implant. If it's too much and people are staring, it's going to make him look bad. It's going to make you look like you're getting paid. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, mm -hmm. Think about it. 
if he old and he's taking you out in public and you got your boobs, them boobs pumped up, all uh, people are going to think, so that's a sugar daddy or that's a prostitute or that's a stripper. So that's what you want people to think. Wonderful. If you don't, you know, dress like you want to be treated. That's all I say. Dress like you want to be treated. Um, you know, I always dress like I wanted to be treated. Um, yes. <laughs> Now, you can do your makeup, you can have your nails, but I'll look respectable if that's what you want. Okay. Different men have different tastes in hair. That's true. Um, mm -hmm. The man is aware of your game. He isn't he ain't getting married. Yes, he is. He can be aware of my game all he wants. But when he sees this game walking away, he going to reconsider. Okay? Because he ain't he not going to believe that he's going to be able, ever able to replace it. And so he's going to be like, okay. Because he'd rather see me with him than me with his friend or somebody else with more money. So he it will work. Especially if you know that you made him look better and you made people treat him better and he got more respect when he was with you than before he was with you. You already know. You're going to take all that with you. And he's going to be back to whoever he was before he met you. And you're going to go give it away to somebody else. You see? So it does work. Imagine if you were, imagine if you were someone and then you met you know, this type of woman who all your friends envied and tried to talk to behind your back. Imagine if, you know, you were the perfect example of someone with, the, you know, that they would want a wife and da 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 and all their friends and family said, oh, yeah, she the one. And I'll, you know, and you were getting ready to walk away. You would be thinking about all those people and what they said and if you're ever going to be able to replace her and if it's, you're going to have to spend a bunch of money all over again. All the investment that you put into her is about to walk right out the door. All the years you wasted, all them car notes, all them clothes, all them trips is, is going down the drain. They're going to have to do it all over again to get someone equally or better than her. So guess what? They're just going to go ahead and say, you know what? Uh, I'm going to commit to you. So you got to think about this as, a, you know, men don't think about this. That's that's a good thing. So we do. So that's what makes it work for us because we think ahead, not in the moment. We think ahead. And when we think ahead, we know how they think and how they will think and what they risk losing and how they're going to feel when they risk losing this. And we know the decision that they're most likely going to come to because they're using their logical sense. So that's how I think. Okay. All right. Couldn't asking for money seem like drama? If you choose the right target, no, because they'll be giving you money. You know, so it's all about the target as well, the type of man you're going to marry. If, you know, I always tell you all this. If it's a problem getting money out of that person or asking for money from the person, you ain't the one, baby. You're just not the one. You have to realize that. It shouldn't be a struggle. That's why I'm saying, you know, choose wisely. If you have the keys to his house as a sign he's committed and met all his family and friends and work will be out, he's trying to commit. I need to go ahead and take the next level step, especially if he has enough money. Mm hmm. Sure. Are you aware that you look the best you've ever looked? Thank you. I'm not aware of that. But thank you. <laughs> I piled on the makeup today. Um. Thank you. I, I I put on a lot of makeup today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um. So, yes. 
What online sites are the ones for American women to find? I don't know the online sites, baby. <laughs> Ask the one in the comments. My husband was not the one I left. We were still married, but he says he engaged. What? That's weird. Why am I so confident my game will work? Because I've already done it. It worked. Um, I've taught other women how to do it. It worked for them too. Here, it worked. I got it. So it works if you do what I say. All you got to do, give them a taste of the good life and snatch it away. And they're going to miss it. So, mm -hmm. you know. You gotta, you gotta, but you gotta be willing to allow them some time to 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 see what they're gonna be missing, or if they can think fast and can come to the conclusion of what they're gonna be missing. They don't have to take any time. They'll just be like, okay, you're right. I can't do nothing. I, I'm not never gonna find someone on your level without investing another how much money that I spent on you or all these years or whatever. I'm never going to be able to do that again, and I don't want to. So I'm just going to keep you around you know so the the point is a man is going to use his logical mind to determine whether it's worth to keep you or not okay that's why i always say make them spend make them spend because the more you spend the more likely they're going to stick around and commit because they put so much into you you know you know how some of you ladies were probably you know taken advantage of by loaning a man or a dusty some money or giving money or a car down payment to some dusty man and then they leave you and you feel like they owe you something or they should have stayed committed to you because you helped them when they needed help. Well, that's exactly what a man is going to think when you, when he has fully invested into you, he's not going to just let you walk out the door without considering all the money he spent on you, why he should be with you, you see. So, that's all you gotta do it. Make them spend. Make go on trips. Make them spend, baby. Mm -hmm. Um. Some zodiacs are cheap and don't like to spend money. Well, then don't date them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bell bell eyes what is better plain jane or sexy whichever one gets the most attention and make the man look the best that's the that's the one i agree when you say you shouldn't care too much men can't commit to something they can't chase exactly thank you crystal shira when you get engaged should i live with him right away or wait till i'm married depends on what your culture or religion is um, if I get engaged to someone, I'm going to want to see what it's like to be married to that person. So I'm going to go ahead and move in and we're going to establish some rules before I say I do like, you know, how things will be. So I think if you are able to do that, I would, because think about it. If you get married to somebody and you can't stand how they live, how they, you know, keep things hygienic or whatever you know and if you establish who the rules before you get married then it's going to be a smooth transition like if you ain't finna wash dishes and cook every day then that'll be known during the engagement you see and you won't be expected to do stupid stuff after you get married if you're not going to do it while you're living with him so you know just i would Um, <laughs> thank you. Believe me, men get tired of spending money. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Iris. 33, very concerned about biological clock. What 42 year old can you provide that can provide, but no to my standards, but not to your standards. Thoughts on using him as a stepping stone and leveling up and away. 
leveling up and away a baby. Girl, I'm just young. Yeah, use them as a set of stone and go get you somebody else. Like I would honestly, like if I'm trying to if I'm trying to accomplish something in my life, I'm gonna do the most realistic thing in the least amount of time. You see, because like I'm not really concerned about what other people think, what I saw in a Hallmark movie. I'm trying to get somewhere at a certain time. You know, I'm trying to settle down, trying to have these kids and trying to be free, trying to start a business, trying to do what I want to do, trying to, you know, this is my goal. I'm not even thinking about anything else. So whatever your goals are, you need to put however you need to get there in that situation. If it ain't him, then you're wasting your time, period. Okay, you're just wasting time, period, if he can't get you to your goal. Okay. Why do married men stop committing if the wife is leveled up? Because either he doesn't feel masculine enough or you got old and he's still, uh, you know, out there because he's still young inside. I told y'all men are 10 years um, younger mentally than women are. OK, so if you're like, let's say you're 34 and he's 34. Well, in his mind, he's still 24 and he feels 24 and he wants to act 24. So this is why I say get an older man. Most most men who are married and don't want to commit, you know, either their wives are not making them feel masculine. Um, they're still young and their wife has aged, even if they're the same age. They don't think the same. They're not on the same level mentally. So he needs to go find something younger. See, so if you're 34 and he's 34, you're 44 and he's 24. You see, because women are naturally more mature than men are. So y'all, the age difference, even if you're the same age, the woman is older in her mind. So of course, he's going to go and find out, you know, find another woman who makes him feel manly or masculine. That's why I don't date men my own age. You know, if I dated someone my own age, they would be out, see them as stupid. Okay, I'm too smart. And too savvy to date anybody my own age. I wouldn't respect them. They couldn't impress me. They don't know enough. They can't deal with me. Why? Because I'm too mature in my mind. I can act dumb all day. Yes, but I can't respect someone who is not even on the same level mentally or, you know, just there. I, I can't. That's why I can't date younger men. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Hi. So, um, yeah, can you get a man to commit if you don't want kids? Just don't tell him, baby. Of course you can get it, especially if he's old. He ain't going to want to have no kids. He didn't already probably have kids. <laughs> so I say go for the older man. When, when, you don't want kids, well, old man probably already got kids, and they probably grown, so he probably won't want any more added bones. Older men are probably more mature and can teach you something instead of you having to do everything and teach him something and hold him by the hand and try to tell him what not to do and what to do and how to do this and how to do that. I'm not getting ready to have no other child besides the child that comes out of my body. That's why I cannot date younger men or young men, period, or men even 10 years older than me because they're still younger than me mentally. So depending on your level of maturity, you have to understand a man is not on the same level as you mentally. Okay. You have to realize that they don't want the same thing at the same age. They just don't. So a, a 24 year old man does not want to get married. A 34 year old man don't want to get married. A 44 year old man don't want to get married. A 54 year old man may get married because he thinks he's, you know, he didn't hit the 5-0. A 60 year old man may get married because he probably already been married, lost that wife by doing stupid stuff when he was young. And now he might want to try it again at a mature level. So when I'm saying, you know, I only deal with older men, that means I only deal with mature men who are not, you know, mentally younger than me. Okay. <laughs> Right. There are many who marry in their 30s, but how many of them cheat? How many of them get divorced? How many of them are paying other women's bills? You know, 
how many of them are, you know, sneaking out and doing what they want to do because they're still 20 in their mind? You know, how many, how many times do you have to text them before they text you back? How many of them could fully provide for you and the children that they create with you? You know, so it just all depends on what you want in your life. Do you, what do you want? And that's how you make that decision. Some women don't want total security and somebody that's above their mental level or at least on the same level. They want to rule secretly. They want to control. They want to, uh, you know, make sure that they keep up with their friends and do what their parents think is the right thing. They don't want to make decisions based on logic and they don't want to make decisions based on their level of mental capacity with the, with the man that they want to spend the rest of their lives with. So like I, I, I had to, because I could not sit there and look at somebody that is mentally beneath me. Just couldn't do it. I wouldn't respect me. I end up cheating with an old man. You see? So I might as well get me an old man. If that's what I'm going to end up wanting anyway. Right. <laughs> right. Right, right, right. Why do you want an old man? He's an old man because they're so bad in bed. I'm not trying to get in the bed. I'm not trying to rush to the bed and do something. You know why? Because I've already done that when I was young. Like, that's what you do when you're young. You rush to the bed to do something. Ooh, let's go get in the bed. Ooh, let's go do what we got to do. Okay, great. Now I'm thinking about my future, okay? I'm thinking about my future. I don't care about the bed, okay? How many how many minutes a day do you spend in a bed with a man? And how many hours a day do you spend working? Exactly. Count it up. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be in the, I'm going to be working for 8 hours so I can spend 2 minutes in the bed, 3 minutes, 30 minutes in the bed with some man. Okay? Well, I'm going to be at home while you working and um uh, you have a nice day. Cuz cuz you sacrificed all that for a few minutes to roll around in the bed. Good for you. <laughs> but you know, if you like rolling around the bed and you're young, that's why I tell young women, have fun until you're ready to get what you want. <laughs> right. Well, you know, like, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I already know people won't. I already know a man won't. If I walk outside, I know somebody wants to sleep with me. I don't need that validation. I don't need to roll around the bed to know what it feels like to feel good. Um, most people know what it feels like already a thousand million hundred times after they've been married this long, dated this many people. We already know what it is. Okay, it's great, it's wonderful. But I'd rather enjoy something else. I'd rather enjoy, you know, uh, reading a book, getting some information, helping other people, doing my makeup, helping my kids get to the next level, starting a business. That's just me. I've already rolled around in the sack with a lot of different people. When I was young, I've already had uh, what, so many years of marriage. I've done that already. How many more times do I got to do it? Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's not something that's on the top of my list. It's not something that drives me daily. It's not why I wake up in the morning. Okay? So it doesn't, it's not a priority. What's a priority is what am I wake up, what am I waking up in the morning to? Okay. <laughs> what kind of car am I stepping into in the morning? You know, what is my bank account looking in, like in the morning? That's what matters to me. I'm not, I don't care what we do for two minutes or three minutes or five minutes in a bed. You know, you're gonna roll off the mattress after your five minutes and go straight to work. Do that. <laughs> now, if you can have everything, if you can get the man, if you can get if you can get the, the package, the total package, if you can get a young, rich. You know, or someone that could just make you, you know, not have to work or whatever and get whatever you want and he and good in bed and all that kind of stuff. Go for it. I'm not saying don't go for that. But remember, they're still going to age and so are you. Just keep that in mind. 
when you get old and you start getting arthritis and you feel young and you're looking better about the day and you're getting old and your hair is, you know, is, is doing this and you're going through menopause, he's still going to be ready to hit it somewhere else. See what I'm saying? You, you know, he's going to be looking for a 20 year old when you're going through menopause. And you're going to be like, huh? I didn't think about this. So if you didn't already, you know, got old and did this, this, and that, and by the time you go through menopause, he ain't going to be around. See? Or he going to be too old to try to get up out of the house and go find him some 20-year-old. He's going to be like, you know what? I'm just going to sit here and watch TV because <laughs> I'm good. So just think about it. Think about my reasons before you choose who you want to commit to you. You know, I think about this all the time. When you get married to somebody, you inherit all their problems with you. What type of problems do you want to inherit? Thank you, Starlet Jones. Thanks so much for this. I'm curious on how I get a man back that's not committed because he sees me as always going to be here or figured out. Cut him off all cut him off all the way and make him earn his way back with a commitment. And that's it. Which means a ring or you know something major. But I'm not going to allow anybody to come in my come in my life that does not want to be there. Except for a few minutes. You know, you can't come back unless you come with a ring and a date. Otherwise, keep it moving. Like, that's how you do it. Um, what did I eat in my 20s? And that girl, salad, chicken breast. That's, that's before I was vegan. Salad and chicken breast. Um, okay, I'll tell you exactly what I because I remember my diet when I was when I was losing a lot of weight. I would eat for breakfast either like a granola bar, like a small granola bar. For lunch, I would eat a chicken, grilled chicken salad with light Italian dressing. For dinner, I would eat a chicken breast with some type of vegetable. And if I ate a snack, it would be something under 100 calories. And that was it. That's all I ate. No ranch. No, you know, I, I ate the salad from Whataburger. I ate the grilled chicken salad from Whataburger every day for lunch or something similar. That's all I ate. <laughs> and I drank water or iced tea. Something with no calories. Mm -hmm, that's it. That's all right. When I was 19 or 20, when I was losing a lot of weight. Yes. Did I exercise? If work and school was considered exercise, that's, that's all I did. Mm -hmm. I didn't go, I didn't go to any gym. I, I mean, that was very little calories. So you really wouldn't have to exercise unless you just wanted to tone. But no, I didn't. I, I, was, I was too busy. <laughs> um, thank you. What about growing old together? Kids grow up and leave you. And girl, you can get another one. Good. Shoot. Don't grow old together. You can get another one and grow old with the other one. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You know, or it, what, it don't stop. Or you can grow old and with a family member. I don't know. Maybe you got a sister or brother. I don't know. Like Medea. <laughs> I don't know. But honestly, I don't, I never planned on growing old with anybody unless, you know, we know you're, you, what, you know you're using us <laughs> to get an hour, shoot. 
I mean, look at Beyonce's mom, Tina. She got divorced from Matthew. Like, just pretend he died. She could have got another one too. When you get older, you can decide the rest of your life to volunteer in something you love. Right? If you don't want to remarry, you don't have to remarry. Like, your kids will be around. They'll come around every now and then, and you can have a friend or, you know, whatever. Um, You know, them grandkids always going to be, Mama, we going to bring the grandkids? Oh, you know, there are always pe going to be people around, especially if you have children. And they have children. Mm -hmm. Shira, how would you recommend I tell a man I don't sleep with them unless you are being taken care of? Just say you need to be in a committed relationship before you get to that level. And then if they ask you about commitment and say, you know, you know, if what I consider a committed relationship is a man who can fully take care of me. That's all you got to say. You know what that means. Money. Um, <sighs> Most women don't look like Beyonce's mom. Or, well, you got to keep yourself up. You got to keep it leveled up. Is it okay to ask the man why he fear commitment? No, it is not okay to ask that man that. He, he it's not that he fears commitment. It's that you ain't the one, baby. That's that's setting yourself up to get lied to even more. If a man tells you he fears commitment, you not the one. Because I promise you, if his type came in front of him and she was everything he wanted in a woman, he would be trying to commit fast. So you never set yourself up like that. It's very desperate. He does not fear commitment. He don't want to commit to you. Okay? Y'all have to understand that. No matter what a man says, he is not choosing to commit to you. That's it. He does not fear commitment. He fears commitment to you because you're not the one. That's it. Stop asking questions. Stop wasting your time and move on. You ain't it. He's telling you you're not it in a nice way, okay? Because when women hear that line and then they leave the man, a couple of months later, he's married or engaged. Why? Because he did not fear commitment. He just did not want to be committed to you. Okay, so stop trying to figure out these men when they tell you the truth right in front of your face, but you're trying to analyze it to be something else. It's not that. He just told you he fears commitment, which means he don't want to be committed to you. Okay, because why would a man say he fears something? That's very emasculating. He took he took one, he took that emasculating aspect and put it on himself so that it can make him seem as if he doesn't want to commit to anybody but to show a weakness is not masculine so you know he's taking a hit which means he's covering up something which means you're not the one okay <laughs> right do you tell your husband he owes you money if he cheats on you? Uh, no, I don't tell him he owes me anything. If I were, if I was being cheated on, I wouldn't tell him he owed me anything. I would just, you know, be like, okay, well, I guess we have an open marriage now. Or, you know, if you want my forgiveness, if you don't want this divorce, if you don't want this child support on you, if you don't want all this fees, lawyer fees and stuff, um, we need to go make a trip to uh, the car the car dealership. You know, I would make somebody pay, yes, but I wouldn't tell them they owe me anything. I'm just going to meet you at the dealership or the lawyer's office. You pick which one it's going to be because you're going to spend something. Might as well spend it, keep it. You know, it's cheaper to keep them. And then it also sets them up to not want to do it again. Because what, what are you going to want after that? You know, if they get caught again, what's next? The divorce or something bigger than a car? Mm -hmm. 
what's next. So the point is you make them, you make it expensive. That way they're less likely to do it to you in the future. And if they're less likely to do that to you in the future, then, you know, y'all have an understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What to do, or what do you think about a man who pays all the bills? I have monthly allowance, but is slow to give gifts. My sugar daddy boyfriend knows he game and plays dumb. If, I mean, for me, I'm just going to buy my own stuff. I'm not going to depend on him to bring me no gifts. I'm, I'm going to take it out the allowance money, and I'm just going to buy whatever I want. And then for every holiday and birthday, I'm going to tell him exactly what I want. And that's it. If he don't come with it, I don't want nothing. And then he, I'm going to be mad. He's going to have to buy me something that costs double. That's just it. You know, so, you know, <laughs> don't give him none until the gifts come. That's it. Don't be happy until you get what you want. If you're not telling him you want gifts, how's he supposed to know? I don't even know. But if y'all have that worked out and he said he's going to bring you something, maybe, maybe he's too old and he forgot. You got to remind him. Maybe you got that Alzheimer's. I don't know. Um, this is my fear. I don't want a Dusty. Well, then don't be around no Dusties. Yes. <laughs> what does it mean when a guy tells you he does not want kids ever or first date? On first date, does it mean he does not want? This, this is a way to get you to not even consider him seriously. Okay, this means either I have a crazy baby mama and I already got kids and I don't want no more, or it means like don't even take me seriously as a husband material. Just this, this is it. So a lot of men have things that will repel you on purpose just so they don't have to commit or worry about you committing because they know most women want children eventually. That's why you go ahead and play the game and say, oh, really? That's interesting. Well, maybe I don't want kids either. You know, life could be fun without the children. Besides, I had little brothers and sisters growing up, so I feel like I've already had children and raised them. I'm ready to explore life. Just be lying. Then use them for all they got and then bounce. Okay. Um, <laughs> how can you make him get you gifts more frequently? Tell him what you want. See, I love gifts. Every time you see me, I want you to have something special for the baby. Just tell him. That's all you got to do. It's how you tell them. Don't reach out to any guy. They should be texting you. That's right. So, yeah, if y'all are still chasing men, if y'all are running behind men, trying to get answers out of them, why they don't want this and why they don't want that, just understand they don't want you. It's not that they don't want those things. It's just that they don't want you. And that way you can save all the time in the world and move on to the next person. Um, if you keep coming across men that say that they don't want certain things, it means there's something about you that's not pulling them in. You are not the one or they already got someone. So, you know, every time you go out and, you know, you get similar reactions, you need to go and figure out or evaluate what it is that you're doing wrong and why you can't get, you know, after you've been dating for a couple of weeks or a month, why you can't get a commitment. You got to ask yourself that. Am I meeting these people in the wrong place? Am I talking too much? Am I too negative? Am I not wife material? Blah, 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 blah. Um, do they not see me on their side? Do I not make them feel masculine enough? Do I not make them feel more important than they already are when we go out and step into, you know, into a room of people? Answer all these questions and maybe you'll understand why a man doesn't want to commit to you yet or at all. Thank you, Emmy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sure, help. I'm 24 and dating a wealthy man. He's 54. He told me he wants to get married and have kids. He's coming in town. Next week, how should I execute this when he comes? 
Get to the jewelry store, baby. Get that ring. Don't matter what you want. Get to that jewelry store. Get you a ring. Engagement ring or something. If he's talking all that noise, either he's trying to get in the bed with you quick. So you need to get to that jewelry store quick. Okay. Talk is cheap. Where my ring at? You, re you ready to get married this quick? Getting a ring does not mean you're going to get married tomorrow. It means you have a valuable piece of jewelry now. That's all it means. Don't mean you still got to sleep with, oh, no, we're engaged. We need to set a date. We need to pick out a venue. See, you know he'll, he's lying if he doesn't take you to the jewelry store. He just wants to get in your pants because he knows that's what you want to hear. So make sure you get the jewelry first, baby. Okay. Oh, yeah, we should go to the jewelry store so I can pick out my engagement ring. You didn't think he was going to have to spend money, did he? See, think about this. A woman always looking for marriage, always looking for commitment. So all a man has to tell you is marriage and commitment for you to give it up quick. But if you make him buy that ring, then the story may change. So if he really wants to marry you and he's really into you, make sure you go with him to get your ring. Thank you. Realistically, you know this ain't happening. Hence the question. You all know. No, I'm, I, we're talking about men with money and older men, not young young dudes that still clock in. Okay, I'm gonna talk about y'all. Uh, I don't know why y'all think we're talking about y'all. Do you really think the average man is gonna be able to just go get up and take a woman to the jewelry store and buy her an engagement ring straight up? No, we're not talking about certain people. We're not talking about certain men of a certain age. We're talking about men that can just go and do what they need to do. We're talking about men that can go to the dealership and she can drive out that same day. We're not talking about the average man. Sorry. And, and no, no shade, but we're just not talking about average men. Just not. Okay. Um. That would be a waste of my time. I, I wouldn't sit up here and do a whole channel on average man. What, what am I going to gain from that? Okay. I mean, men do channels on average women all the time. But then they want to date out of their league. Average men do channels about average women, but want to date out of their league. So I don't know. Thank you, Bliss. I love this. Look, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Because men don't care. They'll they'll sleep with anything. But women, we, we like the lifestyle. So we have the standards. Mm -hmm. What is the name of your Facebook group? Um, it's a private group. So you'll have to um, contact D. Taylor. And her link is, I think, second to last in the description bar. Just contact her and say you want to join. Okay. And it is a paid group one time fee. All right. Can you curse? You can curse you, but all tips work sometimes. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it works sometimes. You just gotta you gotta know how to work it. Right. Mm hmm. So what I want a girl for, I don't know what you want one for. <laughs> where are these rich men in the go to the rich part of town? That's where they be hanging out because that's where they live. They got to go shopping somewhere. They got to go eat somewhere. They got to go walk around somewhere. They got to go somewhere. Most people hang around the neighborhoods that they live in, go to the rich area. Mm -hmm. How do you get over God? This dude treated me terribly, but I can't get over it. That's because you feel like he owes you something. And I say this to every everybody who says that. You you gave more than he gave, so you're still expecting something in return. That's why you can't get over him. He's never going to do anything on the same level as you did for him. So just stop expecting it and move on and do not give your all 
ever again to another man, period. And you won't feel that way if he breaks up with you because A, you'll have been smarter and made him give more than you gave. So you won't feel like you want him back at all. What you want back is all your time, energy, money spent, and love and effort that you put into him that he did not put back into you. So you feel like you're missing something because you were in, in a relationship that was one-sided. So you just got to move on and go get another one and make them treat you better than he did or find someone that likes you better than he liked you because obviously it was a one-sided relationship. Okay. Because if it, if you were getting equal or more and you broke up with someone, you wouldn't even really look back because you already got everything you wanted and plus, and you're leaving with something, you know? So this is why most men will commit because he's invested so much into you and he's done so much for you. He doesn't want to see you leave and he won't be able to get over you either because he's put too much in. So I tell you, make them spend, make them spend. They ain't spending. You ain't going to get that commitment. Okay. Bye, Gray. Sprinkle, sprinkle. He said, you out of here. <laughs> Unless you're trying to marry, just don't need a girl. That's fact. Right. Um, where are the rich men in the rich areas of town? In the rich areas of town. Okay. Oh, she is out here because I got to her. Hmm? Oh, she's out of here. Okay, she's out of here. I'm sorry. You don't don't listen to him. He, you know he dusty. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, girl, I don't know where they come from. They working, I guess. They're trying to get some clicks. Where it means, wait, what's it mean when he says you got him since he doesn't like anyone? That means um, he don't like nobody, but you got his interest. Thank you, Nikki. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Guy you're dating suggested we go to the strip club. Not my scene, but should I go? Is it disrespectful to him to ask that? Why do I handle this? Girl, go to the strip club. It's a good lesson. Go see how them other girls get the money from these men. Go see how your man act in front of a naked woman and go, or whoever, I don't know if he's your man. Go, go observe, baby. Just go observe. Go observe. Everything is a lesson. Go observe. They, the, the women probably like you better than him. And also, you need to also understand, you know, you also need to understand your um, presence there it's also, if, especially if you're pretty, if you're pretty, all you're going to do is make him look good for the stripper so that next time he walk up in there, they come a running. See, so you're making him, especially if you look up, making him look like he got money. So he'll get more attention from the strippers. So what you have to do is you have to get up and walk around a few times. Don't stay next to his side. Thank you, uh, Shade Therapy Sprinkles. Hi, Shira. How can I support the man I'm manifesting my engagement from while he undergoes knee surgery and recovery without being a technician? Girl, send him a thank you card. Mm -hmm. Wait, you're manifesting your engagement? From, are you his girlfriend? If you ain't even his girlfriend, I don't, I don't see a point. But if you're his girlfriend... Send him a thank you card. Tell him, I hope I hope you get better soon. And call me if you need me, but don't rush over there like a pygmy should now. What if he's in a rich area but has roommates? Girl, no. A no grown man should have roommates. I'm just saying, you know, unless he's in school and he's young. You can't be old with no roommates. You can't be paid with roommates. I'm sorry. You don't want them strippers getting your bag with it. You better go get the bag. You better go say, oh, this is, I, I did a whole video. I don't even know it's a whole video. Girl, get it, get his ATM card and, and take half the money and give the strippers the other half. 
pocket it. Oh, I want some. I want to. I want to throw some money. I want to make it rain. I want to table dance, girl. Pocket half that money. <laughs> Might as well get paid off of it. Y'all can't be jealous. Like, if you're gonna show that, I don't know if you're gonna be jealous, but y'all can't show jealousy like that. You don't even know this man that well. He don't know you that well. Y'all don't know these strippers that well. He is just taking you to the strip club to see how you act, how you handle yourself, okay? You got to act like it don't bother you at all. You got to act like, okay, yeah, she, you know, I can see why she's a stripper. She's she got a nice body. Da, da, da. Oh, that's nice over there. Oh, let's, you know, you got to spend his money for him and give it to them women. You got to pocket half of it. You go, hey, I want to buy her a table dance. I want to buy a table dance with her. You got to take charge of the whole situation. You got to tell him who to get a table dance from, who to spend that money on, and you need to pick for him. He said, I want her to give you a dance. And pick whoever you want, baby. Yes. And usually sometimes he's going to try to say, oh, well, you want to have a threesome, you know, or whatever, whatever. And just like, you know, I respect these women, even though I'm not gay. Just keep saying that. Even though I'm not like that, I respect these women for all the work that they do. Because half of them are lesbians. Go ahead and, and tell them half of them just really want women. They just want y'all for y'all money. So I respect them. They work hard. Girl ruin the whole fantasy. It's like, okay, well, you know, um, this was fun. We don't have to do this again. He's not, he's not gonna take you there at all. Okay. You done ruined it for him. Go ahead and go. How can you get over trauma when I do everything you are so wise? Girl, what trauma? Was your hell hat hostage? Was you a prisoner of war? Did somebody beat you until you were hospitalized? Like what trauma? You know, um, if it's that type of trauma. Then um, get therapy. Did I miss a super chat? How to support him emotionally to see you as wife? Ask about his day. Ask him if he's, you know, if, if he was, if, if if he was sick. Say, oh, are you feeling better today? I'm just, I'm just thinking about you, and you know, whatever, whatever. Just be concerned more, but not motherly you know what i'm saying don't try to rule him but just be like concerned oh are you okay do you um maybe you need to take some medicine you know that's it leave it at that oh, are you getting better okay you sound much better just just checking on you that's it just check on them on their well-being and that's it don't go overboard don't become pygmesia okay so Shira will be killed one day. I hope I make the news, baby. That way my YouTube channel blow up and my kids are set for life. Shoot, being killed can be, uh, I might go ahead and just make myself pretend like I got killed. I might fake my death just to get that, get that money. Good idea. Thank you, Lily. Dusty kills YouTuber Shira Seth. Um, This Lily person is crazy. I, girl, you know they're crazy. All of them crazy. <laughs> That's all right, because I got a good, you know, I'm, I had a good idea. I'm, you're even crazier when you're angry. Mother took her. Oh, boy. Do you get a check in the mail, sir? How can I get a meeting with you? I don't meet people. In, I don't meet people. So I'm sorry. Um, she would please stay safe. Be careful. Dusty's our angry girl. Dusty can't afford to get to my house. <laughs> ah. I'm not worried about that. Okay. Anyway. Oh, please. You have seen how feminine today's men are. 
Men do what they want without caring. They're just mad because women stopped playing the nice. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna be nice no more. We're gonna be wise. We might act nice, but we have a plan. Uh huh. She got that magic wand. Ain't nobody coming there. Where I live, if your car is below a certain year, you're going to get stopped by the police. That's all I'm saying. If your car is dirt. Your car is super dusty or dirty. You got two different color paint jobs. If your car is, is older than a certain date, you ain't going to make it to my neighborhood. I'm just That's just how it is over here. So, I don't fear. You better take an Uber. <laughs> Okay, so how often should I reach out to a 50-year-old? Never. He's supposed to be reaching out to you. If he ain't reaching out to you, you ain't the one. Mm -hmm. If he promised you a huge sum of money, girl, I don't do promises. We're we going to the ATM as soon as that come out of his mouth. Okay, let's go right now. Meet you at the ATM, meet you at the bank. I don't go for promises. I only go for action. So if he promised you something and didn't deliver and you sat there and entertained him for the promise, lesson learned. You better, you better start telling him where to meet you. Oh, you, you promised. Oh, that's so sweet. You know what? Let's go to the ATM right now. I'll meet you at the bank right now. I got I'll meet you at the, this place right now. I got I really need this today. How do you convince a counselor you need stress relief, time off? Um, I don't know. Like, I mean, just tell them a counselor or a psychiatrist. You need a psychiatrist if you need time off. <laughs> You need to get a prescription or something. Mm -hmm. Do women in your neighborhood have an option on what you do? An option? Opinion? I don't talk to women in my neighborhood. Okay. Most of the women in my neighborhood are like, let's see. They've got a bunch of kids. They're too busy. They got young kids. A lot of women in my neighborhood have young kids or um, older than me. So, I don't know. We're just not on the same level to hang out with each other. You know what I mean? There's nobody in, um, in my neighborhood like me. <laughs> there, that's what I meant to say. Mm hmm Not in my immediate neighborhood um okay 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 what's the best way to withdraw to force his hand to give me more girl you're supposed to have another one that way when you withdraw you'll still be getting compensated and he'll have time to miss you and consider giving you more so Cut him off. Just tell him you just you need to think about some things. I need to think about some things. Da, da, da. Make him think that you're considering some other options, but don't tell him that. Just give him the time to think it. Um, okay. That's all. Give him the time to think that he could actually use lose you. Why do young Older men feel entitled to younger women without spending because probably he ain't old enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or he picks ones. He picks the women who are not able to convince him to give money. You know? So you got to think men are smart too. Okay. An old man who wants a younger woman but doesn't want to pay will get a mediocre younger woman. Okay, someone a little desperate. Okay, someone not totally out of his league. 
just because you're young doesn't mean that he's attracted to you on a level to give you money. And I, I think I did a video about that. Just because you're younger than him does not mean he's attracted to you enough to give you money. You've got to be his type too. Okay. Can you get a man to pay all of your bills, but if you are celibate? Yeah, just don't tell him you're celibate. Make him think he's working towards something. <laughs> How to make him marry me. You're so beautiful. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Well, be the be the type of woman that he wants to marry. And I said that in the beginning of the video. Just wait till it's finished and go rewatch the video. And I'll give you all the tips. You know, you gotta represent him. You gotta be the type of woman he'll marry. Thank you, XOXO. Okay, to live with boyfriend at 20 for fun, but not for good. As long as you ain't paying no bills. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm not finna pay no bills. I will stay at home and date several people. Then, then be with some grown man living in the house, giving him... You know, everything he need, cooking and cleaning and doing laundry, and I'm not getting anything out of it. No, I'm not doing all of that. I'll stay at home and wait for somebody better to come along. I could date him, 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 and him, but I'm not paying any bills living with a man. Just never going to do that. So if he can pay all the bills and you don't have to do any of that, I mean, have fun, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> Otherwise, he's just a roommate. That's it. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't care if you anger. I don't think you, I don't care if you have an anger issue with me, Lily. I really don't care. You ain't, I, I ain't see you donate yet. So I really don't care. <laughs> um, Shira, would you go for an old rich man if he is taken, but constantly eyeing me? Would I go for an old, if he come on to me and he offered me something? Yeah, but I'm not going to go after him. Old man, I was going to be eyeballing you. Unless he come over there and say, hey, how you doing? You know, I'm not going to bother with him. I don't, I'm not going to chase him. <laughs> yeah. As long as I'm not the one chasing, I, you know. <sighs> Why do rich men go for plain Jane so he could cheat easier? Mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. you have your own money at this point I just want to find a good man do you you want to find a good man who's successful and treats you well, well don't tell him you have money baby and hopefully you can catch his eye Hello? If you don't stop calling me, if you don't stop calling this number, oh, you a bot? You a, you a bot number? She said, why? What will happen? <laughs> she got mad. It was the same woman that called three times. So if you don't stop calling this number, Like, why? What will happen? Where she was, she was surprised. I, that's what I'm gonna do from now. Is she hung up? Okay. If you have money, no matter how pretty you are, expect it to help pay bills. That's true. You better tell me you don't got no money. Or, or find an excuse. Well, it's all invested. I can't spend anything. Yep. Ooh, um, no shade, hilarious shade. Not even a little bit of shade. <laughs> Girl, I'm tired of people calling my name. I, I love the song, but why do they keep calling? I don't want nothing from them. <laughs> if I want to buy something, I'll go online. Okay. I'm 16 years old. Should I? Girl, you you 16 years old? <laughs> I doubt it very much. Girl, you probably look 80. No, you probably look... 
Okay, she probably old. <laughs> That's they always say, oh, I'm, I'm 18 and you're like 30. Those bots. Can a man stay with his wife or girlfriend for social status, reputation, and be madly in love? Girl, men don't fall in love. They fall in lust. Yes, they could be madly in lust with you. Because if they were madly in love with you, they would not have to juggle two sides. Okay? But they can be in mad lust with you, for sure. <laughs> Um, <laughs> let's see. I say Better Business Bureau when I answer that call. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try that next time. You know, I told, because they always call in James too. I told them to say uh, FBI Fraud Department. <laughs> That's how I'm going to answer next time. Um, I'm not going to take phone calls on this show. Why y'all want me to take a phone call? So y'all tell me about y'all ex that you want back. I know that's y'all. Y'all going to ask me. I have a man and he's married or am my ex. Y'all ain't going to ask me nothing that's, you know, worth doing a, a call in for. <laughs> Like, honestly, that, I would get the same exact questions as I get up on here. Mm -hmm. I saw the rental property girl video. Stupid, stupid lady. Not even her husband. I wouldn't even get my, uh, I'm going to get myself a rental property video. I mean, give myself a rental property. Yeah, he wanted a Rolex instead of the rental property. I'm like... I know she probably broke up with him after that. He probably feels stupid. <laughs> um, and why do men ask you to cook for them during the dating, dating, the taking phase? Because they're not they're they're looking for a cook and a maid, obviously. You know, think about this. There are certain women, I mean, there's certain women that a man would never ask to cook for him. Just think about this for a second. Think hard. There are certain men, and I mean, there are certain women that a man will never say, will you cook for me? Or if, can you cook? Or what will you cook? They're not even trying to put you on that level because they don't want you to get offended or to think that I'm going to stop taking you out or, you know, this, this, and that. Or they, you want them, I mean, they want you for, you know, cooking reasons. Thank you, Cherry Don Sprinkles. How to manipulate a man with mommy issues. Tell him, I know you're going to check with your mom first, but... Always start off with that. When you want something, say, I know you got to check with your mother first and get her okay on everything. So I just wanted to see if you could ask her if it was okay for you to do A, B, C, and D. That way you took away all his power and gave it to his mama and make him feel like a little boy so he can stop asking his mama. Just prefer psychology him. That's all you got to do. That's what I would do. Uh, excuse me. I know you got to run this past your mom first. Got to get her approval and her permission. But could you ask your mom if it's okay for you to do A, B, C, and D? And then can you tell oh, her to call me or you call me and tell me what the decision is? Just take all this power away and see if you take it back. I don't have to ask my mom everything. I don't have to ask her everything. She doesn't, I don't need her approval. Okay, so then can you answer right now? That's all you got to do. I mean, I'm not getting ready to wait for him to ask everybody in his family or his mama. I'm just going to come straight out. I know you got to ask your mama. So when you finish asking her and you get the answer and she tells you what to do, you come back over here and you tell me what y'all decision was. <laughs> uh,
Mm-hmm. How do you stop letting men age you? Stop working. When you, if you live with a grown man, don't work. Okay, make him pay for everything, girl. <laughs> Okay. Do men like when you complain too much? Nope. They hate that. I actually can't wait to get married just to keep my husband on them toes. <laughs> Girl, that might be the first couple of years. Then after a while, you better find something to keep yourself on your own toes. Right? Thank you, Cherry Dawn. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Um, e, 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 e. Will I do a collab with Anna Bay? I don't know who that is, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle, though. Um, tell him you got laid off. This right, I quit my job. I got fired. I need some money. I live with you now. You could take care of me. Um. Mm-hmm. How do you stop letting men age you? Stop working for them. Stop working for a man. Work for yourself. Don't work and be with a man at the same time. That's how. What ages you is working. Stop working. Stop working for anybody if you are with a man. That's that's just how you do it. You can't still work and try to not age. You're gonna put it. You're putting extra stuff on your palate if you work and have a man. You can't do all of that. That is gonna age you, right? Working for the man every night and day. That's right. No way you that. When to take a man seriously, when he's trying to commit to you and pay for everything, that's when. Otherwise, I'm not. You married, you dated a millionaire. He never asked you to cook for him. He's vegan and still cooked for me several times. Takes you out to dinner. Yeah, because you're not the maid. You're not the cook. I'm on week four of my level up journey. Haven't slept with my husband, but we have date night planned. Any tips? He's expecting sex, so I told him we better be going somewhere nice. Get everything you want, baby. Order what you want. Get what you want. Then he's going to feel like he earned that sex. And he's going to try to earn it again next week. Okay. There you go. Um... How to approach and ask my fiance to put my name on the title of the home girl fiance. He bought it before we got married. Um, how to ask him? Okay, ask him this. First of all, you got to ask him to sell the house first. So you got to start totally from the left. He cannot expect this at all. Tell him, I want a different house. I want a new house. I don't like this house. He says, why? Why? What's wrong with the house? Oh, I just want to pick something out together. You know, let's pick it out together. He's like, why? This house is fine. I know, but if we're going to get married, I want to live in a house that both of us chose. Well, how about you could, or if you let me redecorate it or something, I don't know, because I don't like how it's set up there. Maybe, you know, maybe if you put me on the deed, I'd feel better about, but I feel better about it, but I don't feel good about living in a house that's, you know, you probably, I don't know if you've been with any other women in this house. I don't feel comfortable going into a marriage unless I am a part of everything. So that's all you gotta do is be like, my name ain't on it. We don't have to get a new one. We can sell this one and then we can get a new one. That's it. Okay. And then don't give him none until he either put you on the deed or y'all go get a house together. 
and put the deed, put the name on the deed. Okay, but don't pay for that. Okay. What to do if he ghosts you? I'll move on. Mm -hmm. You stop cooking, he shows you the restaurant bill. What does it mean? I'm not much more than a meal. What? You're much more than monthly groceries. It's not much more than monthly groceries. Girl, he's trying to show you how much you could save if you went home and cooked and did it, you know, be a pick me <laughs> Um, No man don't like when you complain. You should know what to do, girls. It was what they what? Okay, anyway. You want him to commit? Act like the type of woman he would marry. And that's it. Thank you, highly sensitive. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Is it a turnoff for women to curse? Yes, it is. It's unladylike. Mm hmm. Yep. It's unladylike to curse, darling. Unless you're really up. The only time you should really curse is if, if you're like really upset at somebody and it's, it's very unlike you. That way they know you serious and you ain't playing. That's the only time a woman should curse is if she's highly upset. And you want them to know you're not even playing. You see? Otherwise, if you curse all the time, it's no big deal. You don't know when you're really upset or when you really mean business. Okay. And plus, it's, potty mouths are unclassy. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be a potty mouth. How can you tell if a man is in love or lust with you? If he's in love, he'll commit to you and pay all your bills and you won't have to work and do nothing. If he's in lust with you, he only call you when he wants some. You might pay for you still because you're always there when he needs some. And love means he'll do it regardless. He'll give you whatever you need. He'll put that commitment on you. He'll secure you. He'll do all of that. Lust, he'll just pay in order to keep stopping by. You gotta figure out which one you want. It's good that he lusts you too, uh, because that's what it takes to fall in love, but still, if he's already committed, then it's gonna be harder. What does a rich guy text me on the holiday? Why does a rich guy text you on the holidays and never reach? Girl, he probably got you on that rotation where he texts everybody, happy holidays, or he probably drunk. One of the two. Okay. I get texts from people I don't even remember because they put you on that rotation list for the holiday to just click everybody and it's in a happy holiday. That's why. I'm like, who is this? Right. Thank you. Can I do a video on men who act out to get a response from you? Girl, I'm not, if you, if you're a drama king, I'm not, I'm not even bothering. You know what I mean? I'm ignoring. I, I don't even see it. You act out. I don't know you're acting out because I'm too busy doing something else or paying attention to something else. That's how you deal with that. <laughs> if you acting out. Calling you crazy stuff or acting out, you should be like, like you don't even hear. I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. You can't even tell he acting out because you're not even paying attention. You see, 
You don't even notice he's acting out. It doesn't bother you at all. Is it okay to check your boyfriend's phone and if and what? We all play games. And vice versa once in a while. Is that your husband? I don't think it's okay. I mean, you could sneak and do it if you want. I mean, if they're young, you already know something in the phone or they got private settings or whatever. I mean, I really wouldn't check someone else's phone because if they know you're going to check it, why would they put anything in there? That's just dumb anyway, because they could have a whole nother phone. They could have one of them apps hidden. You know, if they want to cheat, they're going to cheat. So I really wouldn't do that because it's like you're desperate and you're trying to control them. If they think that you don't care about who who they're texting or whatever, whatever, it means that you have a life and business of your own and that you're not concerned with trying to control every piece of their life. You know, and if that's the kind of girlfriend you are, they don't want that type of wife, believe me. If you want to find out who he's talking to, wait till he go to sleep and get your phone, get his phone. And if you don't, if you're not gonna do nothing about it, then don't even bother looking at it. You know. <laughs> Thank you, Emmy. Can some can being spontaneous and freaky lock the man down and make you addictive? What are pros and cons? How do we if he's already thank you, Emmy, if he's already committed and highly invested in you and it took you a while to come out of your shell, yes. If you're doing this right off the bat, no. He's going to think you do with everybody. You got to, he got to pull you out of that shell after he's committed to you and giving you money and invested in you highly. Then you become that. You can't do that off the bat. He has to think he, he pulled that out of you. Not that that's who you always were. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what he got to do. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm hmm such a fierce look. Thank you. Actually, women have to relax and love themselves. That's true. God, love yourself. These, these comments are going too quick. How long have I been on here? Hold on. Dang. <laughs> yep. Get that money first before you become a freak. That's the last touch, baby. That's the last touch. Mm-hmm. I don't know what these bots is doing, girl. They, they crazy. Okay. Yeah, I got a hydro flask. Layla made me buy one and decorate it with her. She has one. I said, Ma, we should all get hydro flasks and decorate them. So I did that for my baby. But it's just very convenient because it holds a lot of water. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Oh, thank you, Luna. So, thanks for the advice about the title on the house. Yep, you can call a mortgage company and re have him refinance it and put you on the deed. That's all you gotta do. Say, so maybe we should refinance your house for a cheaper uh, rate. And then you get up on that deed. How are you doing? Or if you refinance it after you get married and get yourself on there, that's good too. Um, she were you can I can look at a hundred girls a day, but you over here for two hours and twenty something minutes straight looking at me. So I'm I guess I'm special. <laughs> okay how you doing um another thing is confidence you got to be confident in yourself like you can't have that low self-esteem trying to be somebody's wife unless you want to be taken advantage of you know what i'm saying unless you want to be one of the wives who don't have access to that money that's another thing you have to be very secure within yourself you have to be like <laughs> Uh, very secure. 
No doubts, baby. <sighs> you have to be so secure that you make them nervous. They mess it up. That's how secure you got to be. See, everything works together. You have to be confident. You have to love yourself. And you have to be so secure within yourself that you make them afraid to mess up. Because you don't know. They don't know what you finna do. You know, they don't know who you know because you're not telling them everything. And they don't know your whole life story and A, B, C, and D. You know, you got to have some hidden cards there. Right. What's the best way to navigate through sexual conversations with us? Completely. Tell him he got, tell him he, that's coming. Say, I can't wait either. You know, when I get to know you a little bit better, I'm going to release all this passion on you. Then you're going to be spinning like a crazy fool. Everything you ask for after you tell him that, well, how much do you want? Let me help you out. You need some bills paid. He's trying to rush to it, which means he's going to do whatever you ask him to do. Always put it out in the distance, but make him have high hopes, baby. That's it. Shira, if you ever meet me, if I ever meet you, it'll be in the afterworld. Okay, the afterlife. How you doing? <laughs> ah. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with female friends he has? I don't. I wouldn't deal with female friends. You know, as long as I look better than all of them put together, I'm good. As long as I'm as long as I look better than all of them, I'm good. Thank you, Ayana. So pretty. You look similar to Demi Lovato. Oh, sprinkle, sprinkle. See, if your man is confident enough to bring you around his female friends, then he's comfortable enough to lose you. See, because he doesn't know what type of woman you are. Like, as far as are you going to deal with other women in his life? So if he's confident enough to bring you around his female friends and you don't look comfortable with it, then he's, you know, he knows where, where to cut it off at. He knows where not to, you know, be as friendly with them as he used to be, especially in front of you or after he's committed to you. He already knows that that's going to be a long, you know, a go relationship in that whatever. It's not going to be a continuous thing because why do you need female friends in your life if you are committed to one female? Now, I can understand if they're like, masculine like lesbian you know whatever but if they're straight and they secretly like him or he secretly likes them or if they've slept with each other before um you know i'm not gonna deal with anybody like that just not <laughs> just won't even deal i'll be on to the next because i already know how that ends Uh -huh. What did I do differently, girl? I put this makeup on. I was making it up. It's like. <laughs> right. Any birthday plans? Nope. I never really do birthday plans. It's like, just give me some money. Give me a cake and I'm good, baby. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, what age is a good time to be married at your 20? Girl, wait till at least you're 25 and up. Uh -huh. Yeah, like, I've already done, the, I've done so much birthday stuff. It's crazy. Like, I'm, I'm going to be 41. I've celebrated 40. Well, I don't know. When my sister and I used to hang out, we used to, our birthdays are the same day, right? But we're um, eight years apart. We used to do our birthdays big, okay? And I would be taking on trips for my birthday. Taking it It's like, I've already done it. Like, every day is my birthday. 
you know what I mean? I could do whatever I want, what I want. So it's like every day is my birthday. So when my birthday comes, it's not a big deal. It's like every day is my vacation or every day is this. You know, once every day is like you can do whatever you want, then it's not a big deal. I think when I get older, my kids will probably try to do something for me, like when they can do it. But I don't really look for a big birthday party. Just give me some money, give me my gift, get out of my way. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I wish I was turning 26. <laughs> I'm be 41. Okay. Get your name on the deed, Miranda. Get the deed. He probably don't have the deed. You need to get it on the loan. Because the deed, you can't get the deed until you own the house. You know what I'm saying? You don't own the house, you don't have the deed. Get on the get on the loan then. Okay. How do you deal with family members of your man that think you're using you're using them or lazy? I don't I don't deal with them. Mm -hmm. I don't really care. It's his choice, not theirs, right? Um What if your parents kick you out and you're 18 and nowhere to go? Oh, that's messed up. Um, I don't know. Uh, I would go over another family member's house uh, until I could figure out what to do or get a job. I don't know. I could find another family member that I could go live with or a friend's house. I remember my friend. Her friend, uh, my friend lived with us for like a couple of months because her parents kicked her out. So she came to live with me. So find a friend, girl. Find somebody. Get yourself a job and contribute until you can move out. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, well, good luck to you. Hope you find somewhere to stay. If not, you know, you can always find a shelter or some type of something like that. <sighs> okay, I'll see y'all later. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. If y'all, you know, got here at the end of the video, all the good juicy details of, you know, commitment and stuff are in the first, what, 30 minutes of the video? And y'all can go and uh, get all that information there. Click like as y'all leave or as you enter. If y'all still enter, click like. If y'all are new, hit the subscribe button. If y'all ain't subscribed, get subscribed. And I appreciate y'all. And everybody who donated, thank you so much. I appreciate y'all, everybody. Without you, there is no me. I couldn't be on YouTube if y'all did not support me. So thank you so much for know watching my videos and sharing them i know a lot of y'all share them with your friends so thank you i just want to say thank you for that i really do appreciate y'all y'all don't even if i don't say it enough i do so thank you i'll see y'all on the next one